farmers, agro processors, entrepreneurs, and patrons braved the blazing sun to enjoy the return of the two day exhibition for World Food Day 2022 in Tobago. Chairman of the World Food Day Committee, Nicole John, urged Tobagonians to remember the importance of producing nutritious foods. In keeping with the 2022 World Food Day's theme, Secretary in the Division Natisha Charles Pantin outlined several initiatives they have been undertaking to ensure no one is left behind. We continue to supply our farmers with quality planting stock via the Lur Planting Repository and Louisdor Nurseries. Upgrade works are ongoing on livestock pens at the government stations to improve carrying capacity and supply increased numbers of breeding stock to farmers. Secretary Charles Pantin also informed partnerships with food and agriculture organizations have been established. Meanwhile, Chief Secretary Farley Augustine announced Tobago's alternative flowers will be launched in supermarkets in Trinidad on Friday. He stressed the need to have youth involved. We must get to the place where we let our children have an appreciation for the work that farmers do and have an understanding that farmers do a dignified job. And guess what? There are lots of monies to be made from farming. Several seminars were held across Tobago leading up to the two-day exhibition. The World Food Day event at the Dwight York Stadium ended on Thursday with live entertainment.